hello everyone in this video we'll be creating this simple hand pump mechanism animation in solidworks so let us see how to create this so we'll be starting with the uh, drawing the links of this mechanism so for that click on the top plane and sketch on it so here we'll select the center point straight slot okay so we'll go to smart dimension and define the dimension to be 100 okay and define this to be 20 okay so here we'll draw the two circles right uh, whose dimensions will be 10 mm and 10 mm respectively okay so go to the feature extruded boss base and we'll extrude it by a 5 mm say okay so this will be the our link of this mechanism so control save it so we'll make a new folder over here so create a new new folder so we'll make it as a hand pump simply open this hand pump folder and we'll save it as a link link one now we'll close from here and we'll go to the next part so we'll draw the piston of this mechanism so here we'll first draw the circle of 75 mm dia and we'll simply go feature extrude boss by 10 mm say ok now here we'll select the front plane and from here select the plane so we'll take a one plane which will be at a distance of 5 mm from this front pane so simply define the distance 5 mm say ok now select this and sketch on it make it normal too ok now here we'll select the center rectangle ok so select here this line and this line and make it to be collinear ok select here this and this make it vertical ok now you just give the dimension 20 20 and 25 so here we will simply draw two circles first one second one ok so simply delete this and we will just uh, give the dimension to this to be 10 mm ok so just trim the unwanted part ok go to feature and extrude boss base so we will extrude it by 5 mm ok so we will save this as a you can see just hide this and save it as a piston piston ok so close from here we will go on sketching the next part that you can say the handle of this mechanism so we will just sketch on the top plane we will draw here uh, again center point straight slot so simply draw that and again we will be drawing to circle so we will keep the dimension this to be 65 mm this to be 20 mm this to be 10 this to be 10 ok so from here we will draw one center line to to downside and I skip now here we will just define this degree 
to be 30 degree let's say 30 degree and here we'll draw one circle smart dimension this distance to be at distance of 180 let's say and this to be 10 mm okay so here simply draw one line from here escape and just select these two in this way actually sorry select these two and make it tangent okay okay so here we'll just mirror the entities so select this and mirror about this center line okay so we'll just trim the unwanted part over here right okay okay now we'll just make this to be this two to be a tangent okay that's fine and make this to be a tangent one okay now all things are over over here so, so go to feature and extruded was this so uh, before that cancel this make it normal too we'll just trim the unwanted part so one part is remaining over here okay so make sure that this will be tangent actually okay so that is the thing over here go to feature extruded boss base and we'll extrude it by 5 mm okay so we have extruded by a 5 mm so control save this part as a handle so go to the file and you here you can see save save it as a handle okay so just close from here file new lastly we'll draw the cylinder for this mechanism so for that sketch on a top plane draw here a center rectangle so select a center rectangle sorry from here and simply draw 150 by 150 and simply extrude it by extruded boss base so extruding it by a 5 mm say ok now we'll just draw below this sketch on it make it normal to we'll draw two circles over here okay so simply select escape this delete this so select the circle from here center and we'll give the dimension to this to be 85 and this to be 75 okay now go to feature extruded boss base and we'll extrude it by 140 mm right 140 mm that's fine okay now just go select this and sketch on it make it normal too again we'll draw here one circle too okay now we'll just smart dimension this okay go to feature and say extruded cut so just reversing this okay right now we'll suppose to select here front plane and sketch on it make it normal too so what we'll be drawing over here you can see from here to here okay in this way i'll be drawing so in this way smart dimension this from here to here will keep the distance to be 31 mm right now we'll keep the distance to be this to be okay this to be 11.5 okay and we'll just give the dimension to this to be 20 mm 
ओके ट्वेंटी एम एम ओके सो सिंपली ड्रॉ वन सर्कल इन दिस एंड विल मेक इट टू बी ऑफ टेन एम एम ओके नाउ सेंटर लाइन यू कैन ड्रॉ फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इसके मेक दिस मिरर एंटिटी अबाउट दिस सेंटर लाइन ओके नाउ मेक श्योर दैट दिस विल बी अटैच इन टू वन एक्चुअली ओके सो जस्ट गो एंड ट्रीम द एंटिटीज कंट्रोल जेड दिस सो सिंपली ड्रॉ हियर वन लाइन अप टू दिस एंड देन विल जस्ट ट्रीम द एंटिटीज ओके सो जस्ट स्मार्ट डायमेंशन दिस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर द डिस्टेंस विल बी फिफ्टी एम एम Okay. Make sure that this two will be a tangent one. Okay, and we'll just give the dimension to this to be twenty mm. Okay, and this and this you can say simply this dimension will be. Let's see. This is actually drawn. Okay. so just trim the unwanted entities over here trim the entities like this this okay now go to the feature extruded boss base so here we'll extrude through the mid plane so select the mid plane and select here 50 mm say okay so again we'll go to the plane select this and this So mid plane will be sketching on a mid plane over here. Select this and sketch on it. Make it normal too. So here we'll simply draw one circle. Simply draw like this. Okay. So here you can select this and make it convert into this simply. So simply draw one line from here to here and say here. Escape. Now you will go to the feature simply here and say extruded cut. Right. So you'll just cut it by five mm in that side. Okay. Say okay, and we'll just hide this. And from here, save. Sorry, file. First of all, save this. to so save it as a, you can say a cylinder so close from here we'll go to the file new assembly okay so here we'll assemble all those parts that were created so simply select the browse and select all these and simply say open so one by one all parts will open and this way okay now this will be fixed right so simply go to the appearances and in the appearances i'll be selecting glass sorry you can see here a glass gloss and we'll be selecting a green glass take it over a body right now we will go to the mate Simply select this face and this inside face. So we'll be having a concentric mate. Okay. So this can be moved down inside, actually. Okay. Simply select this face, inside face, and this face. Again, concentric mate. Okay. Actually, we'll just edit the feature. So right click on this edit feature. and make it uh, to be a flip mat alignment sorry clear this sorry so what will be doing here will be just relating this yes 
because I am not getting what I want. You simply move it, tried it first. Right. So I'll be moving in this way. Now I'll be going for a mate. Okay. Select the inside face and this face. Now your coin centric mate. Okay. Select this face and this face. Okay. It's adjusted well now. Now we'll be selecting this face and this face. Okay, coin centric. Okay. Now selecting this face and this bottom back face. Okay. Now we'll just make it fix for some time. So simply just rotate this in this way. Okay. Right. Okay. So here what we'll be going to do I will just make it to be float. Okay. Now I'll go for the mate. So we select the mate from here. Select this face and this face. Okay. And this way we are making it a mate. Okay. Now make it normal too. So simply select this and make it normal too. Okay, so here you can see that we have created almost our hand pump mechanism. So we'll just color it from here. So simply select the color. Okay. So I will select for this handle this color. Okay. So you can select the color you like. Okay. Lastly, the piston is remaining. If you can't get a piston, you can simply select from here and just give it color you want. Okay. So already color is there. Okay. So we'll just make it select this and make it normal too in this way. Okay. Now we'll go to the motion study over here. We'll go to the motion study. So just keep it like this. Okay. Go to motion study. Select the animation. Select the motor. And here select this face. Okay. So simply reverse the direction from here. And select here oscillating. So we'll just oscillate it by 50 degree. So that we'll get the desired animation. Okay. Now we'll be just increasing this. Okay. And we'll click on a. Uh, before that uh, we'll just edit this feature rotary motor will just minimize the rpm 2.5 hertz okay now simply click on calculate now so here you can see it's working so this is simple hand pump mechanism animation right so it is basically manually operated hand pump so we'll play back it again so the use of this hand pump is to displace the fluid from one place to another place. Hope you like this animation. Thank you for watching.